There was a claim, much hyped, that some particles may travel faster than light. Now they're saying maybe not, and the problem could be a cable galtum, is that right? That seems to be the problem, yes. Uh, it's highly uh, unlikely that such a ballyhooed statement and announcement in September by some of the world's greatest physicists could possibly come undone by the faulty cable, but that seems to be the problem. Let's back up for just a moment, Galtam, and for those who managed to miss this scientific news, which just was, as you said, it was much ballyhooed and everywhere. Remind us what the claim was and, you know, where it came from. Well, you know, it was Einstein who pretty much laid down the cosmic barrier as being the speed of light. I nothing can travel faster. If anything can travel faster than the speed of light, you get all kinds of weird effects, like being able to tra travel back in time, potentially. And so for decades, people have assumed that inviolable barrier. And then suddenly, this last September, in Switzerland, comes up with this unexpected announcement of John is the most likely part as travel faster than the speed of light. And that really shook me up. Galton, if you can hear me, could you pick up the phone next to you? Yeah, sure. There we go. That's better. So this is sort of throwing into uh, question, I mean, when they were saying this about some of these particles traveling faster than light, the underpinning of a lot of physics. It certainly did. All of modern particle physics is kind of based on the idea that uh, nothing can travel faster than light, and it was Einstein who laid that out. And if you do have something traveling faster than light speed, then you really upend the crucial pillars of modern particle physics. And so uh, this announcement by CERN in September really shook up the entire establishment, and everyone went scrambling to figure out whether they were right or whether they were wrong. And, and now the cable, what made folks start looking at this cable? And tell us a little bit about about where it is and what it is and why they think there could have been a problem. Right. The way they were doing an experiment where they were trying to get some measurements of particles known as neutrinos, very ghost-like mass, almost massless particles. And they set up this kind of uh, experiment whereby they were shooting these particles from uh, Switzerland to Italy. And in the process of shooting these particles, they realized that these particles are arriving faster than the speed of light. And that was the announcement that really shook things up. And then they subsequently have discovered that there could be a problem with a cable, which is used to calibrate one of the machines that's involved in putting a time stamp on these particles so that you need to know exactly that the clock in near Geneva and the clock in Italy are calibrated exactly right. And if you turn the cable slightly in one direction, the calibration will go one way. And if you turn it in the other direction, it'll go the other way. So it seems like they may have turned the, uh, the, the little screw in that cable the wrong way. A screw in the cable the wrong way. All right, well, Einstein must be rolling in his grave right now because wouldn't this have upended e equals mc squared? If yes, they it would right. have. <laughs> Absolutely, because, you know, that famous equation, E equals mc squared, the c in that is the speed of light. And that's what Einstein said, that you cannot violate that cosmic speed barrier. And so uh, the entire notion of E equals mc squared would have to be thrown out the window if uh, this finding were to be held, uh, was true. Uh, it's not clear whether it will be upheld or not, and it's not clear whether it'll be disproven or not, but it certainly seems to be a bit of a black eye uh, in the original finding. 